Hello, I'm Josef Prusha. In this screencast, I will show you how to print precise Prusha Mendel by calibrating the configuration. Uh, let's start uh, with downloading the Prusha Mendel from GitHub. Here we go. Download. Zip. Uh, in the meantime, the theory of the calibration. Uh, you can print precise holes by two methods. First one, which I call ideal, is to have precise holes in files and set the printer to print them that way. Unfortunately, this is really hard for repre. Uh, but for those you want to go that way, especially universities with expensive rapid prototyping machines, I will add one more settings called ideal besides the metric and imperial. Uh, we will use second method which is much simpler. Uh, we put the holes uh, to design a bit larger so at the end they came out precise. Uh, only problem is to know how much larger they should be. Now uh, here we go. We downloaded the handle. And we transfer it here. Oops. Okay. Uh, only problem is to know how much larger they should be. Uh, for this, we have here the calibration STL. Uh, which is generated with the actual configuration dot scat parameters uh, parameters uh, that mean that the ho whole printer is parametric so if you change something in configuration dot scat the whole printer will change but your configuration uh, calibration dot stl is here for reason that you don't have to print a whole printer to recognize if your settings are correct. Uh, here is the calibration. So you have here all the important stuff. M8 uh, hole, M8 nut, M8 hole horizontal and same for the M3 holes. So that's it. Uh, now we will skin forge it and print it. Oh, here we go. Don't forget to choose right profile. Oh. Here we go, calibration.stl open. So print is finished and we now can test if nuts and bolts fit. Let's start with M8. Ah, yeah, okay. And even M3. Yeah. Good fit. Maybe the M8 could be smaller, so I guess we can reduce the diameter of about one millimeter, I guess. And then we can test the bolts. Sorry, I don't have stative here, so yeah, okay, cool. And M8. Also fits. Great. So all is fine, just the M8 nut should be smaller. So our calibration object is already printed and we know that we have to reduce the M8 nut diameter by one millimeter. 
So let's open the configuration.scat yeah. and find out the M8 nut diameter. Uh, and as we work for the metric uh, configuration, we change it there. We, we agreed on one millimeter, so here we go. Save. Voila. And now we just need uh, to test the new configuration. You can do it both ways. You can make all parts or just open the calibration, compile it, and export it as STL. Well, uh, you can repeat this procedure over and over until you perfectly happy. But uh, oh yeah, but I won't do that. I just show you uh, how to uh, regenerate all the parts you need, so you don't have to uh, do it. all by hand so let's go to the Prusha Mendel folder type make for help yeah we can do uh, all which makes all the parts makerable plates the Mendel plate and the extruder but this will take a long time so I suggest to generate only the thing you need and want to use. Uh, I will go the make parts since I don't use plates. And, but if you use MakerBot plates, just type make M MB plates. It's all simple as that. And also, if you want to use the Imperial version, uh, you have to add variant one. But don't forget to change the this in conf, uh, configuration that If you want to use Imperial stuff, you have to change the Imperial configuration. We change only metric. Uh, and now we can just simply type make parts and hit enter. Yeah, and open a sketch is doing everything for us. That's it. Um, this is the main reason why I chose to use OpenSCAD over other um, CAD packages. This allowed me to design the Mendel the way we can generate metric, imperial and whatever you want from a single set of files. Uh, also, there are some other things I like, but it would take another hour to discuss it. So, thanks and see ya.